Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I want to show you how to, uh, or I want to go over how to make a door open and close through Uscript, um, because it was a request. So, uh, without further ado, let's let's jump in. I'm going to first go over to Blender and create a door. Uh, delete this camera, delete this light, and uh, I'm going to press N to bring over this thing. I'm going to pull this about negative one on the Y, and uh, I'm going to press Control Shift Alt C and Origin 3D cursor. That way, when we rotate, we rotate around the side here. So I'm going to pull this thing up, make it look more door-like. Uh, that'll do. So I'm going to go to File, Export, FBX, uh, Desktop. I have an old door here I can get rid of. And I'm going to call it door <coughs> and export it. So now uh, I'm ready to import it into Unity. So uh, I'm going to go to the desktop here and clean out my recycle bin just because I have a habit of doing that. Open up, uh, drag it into the assets, and then inside of the door I'm going to put uh, 0 0.5 and apply that as its scale and I'm going to drag it in bring it to 000, uh, 270 and 270 just because I've done this before a little bit uh, so uh, that's what the rotations were all about in Blender the, it's, the Y is not up, the Z is up so uh, it automatically rotates it for uh, FBX, knowing that the Y is up in the FBX and all of that. So, uh, yeah, that's why we have these rotations. So, we won't go too deep into that. Let's just hit Control U, open up Uscript. Let's enable the auto updates. And we can close this box there. So, I'm first going to open up a update, a uh, global update here. I think grid snap. Uh, global update, and then I'm going to type in rotate. And here I'm going to do Control Game Object. Oh, I did it twice by accident. So I'm going to drag the update into the input, bring the place variable game object here from the door, make that the target, and uh, I'm going to change this forward to tilt to left just because I know that the door rotates uh, on the tilt to left correctly. If I left it on forward, it would rotate weirdly. So make sure it's still left. I'm going to save the debug as door. Uh, yes. So now we wait for it to compile and it's done. So now when we hit play you'll see that it is rotating along that pivot there to be opened. So uh, we want to stop it when it gets to a certain point and we might want to make it faster so I'm going to hold F and click which will give me a floating point variable I'm going to set this float to uh, maybe 0 0.35 something like that a little bit faster and what I want to do is make it stop when it gets all the way uh, or I'm going to at least trigger a pause or something when it gets all the way so uh, Let's do a. Let's do a. Let's add another float up here, and let's do add float. So I want it to rotate 90 degrees. So whenever it has rotated, I'm going to make this float be added to uh, added by 0 0.35. So every time this runs, I add 0 0.35 to this float. And what I want to do is I want to say. Uh, let's compare float. I want to. What I want to do is after that, I want to check if a is uh, greater than or equal to 90 degrees. So we'll put 90 here. Make it b. And if so, I'm going to make a boolean over here uh, for playing for go. I guess like moving. Um, I'm going to say uh, if so then we want to do a uh, we want to do a toggle bool or maybe we just want to set the bool let's say set bool so we want to set this target bool 
to false. Uh, and we're going to automatically have it set to true when it starts. So whenever, if, if our rotation is greater than or equal to 90 degrees, we're going to set this uh, bool to false, and we're going to say this um, moving is what we'll call that. And uh, yeah, so let's now put in a uh, let's put in a if statement for our bool. So if let's see, uh, was it compare bool? So compare bool will be our if statement. So let's break this. So on update, if moving is true, then continue. That's basically all we do there. Otherwise, we're not going to continue. So let's uh, save this debug. I'm going to make this bigger so we can see more. And let's hit play. So you can see that it's opening, 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 opening. And when it gets to that 90, it stops. So now we have it opening. Uh, let's do a uh, another bool where we have uh, its state, whether it's going to be opening or closing. So let's just call this is opening. And let's say true. And let's make another compare bool. So we have one compare bool. Let's just copy and paste that. And we are going to break that here. And we're going to say uh, this bool is going to be is opening. So if uh, if moving, we go to compare the next bool. And if it is opening, we're going to do the opening state like that. So if it's not opening, it's closing. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy. Well, I guess we can copy this, 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 this. We can copy all of these. And let's bring them down here for the closing part. So let's just line these up a little bit. OK. So if it's closing, we want a different float. And we want this float to be negative 0 0.35 and take that in as the speed, the target is the door, uh, and then we're still going to use this float up here, right here, and for the B value we're going to have zero, so we're just going to leave it like that because it's already zero, uh, or we can make it a variable for it just in case we want it to be more than zero. Uh, let's just keep it at zero, and now we're going to say if it's less than or equal to zero, we're going to set uh, moving to false. Oops, we're going to set moving to false. Come on now. Set moving false. And then uh, when we set it false, uh, w on either state, we need to toggle a bool. So toggle, we need to toggle whether it's opening or closing. So toggle bool. Uh, so the out from this and the out from this, because it doesn't matter, is going to go to this is opening, and the target is this opening. So now we have it set to um, do one state or the other. Oh, we forgot to add our float. So we're going to add. Uh, we're going to add into this float up here. So this float up here is going to be a. Uh, since we're using this all over the place, let's just bring it down here. And b is going to be this, and the result is going to go into that one. So now uh, we have this all set up, and what we want to do uh, is let's put a, uh, let's see, we could put a delay to say, to switch our moving state, I suppose. We can do a, um, let's see, yeah, we can put a delay out here. Let's put a delay on the end of this. So on the delay, the duration, let's say that we have it three seconds. So uh, I can just set it in here rather than making a float out there. I'm going to put three seconds. Um, and after delay, we're going to toggle bool. 
So this will be the last part of the state. And the bool we are toggling is the moving bool. Well, we're not going to toggle it. Sorry, we're going to set it. So let's take this set bool, put it over here, and say after delay, set true, because now we're going to be moving. Whew. All right. So in theory, this should work. <laughs> and uh, theories don't always play out correctly, but um, let's find out. So let's hit play. So it's going to open up. Hit the final point, wait about three seconds, and it's going to close. And when it hits the f zero, uh oh, that's not zero. That's definitely not zero. <laughs> this number is uh, going all over the place. So let's figure out why. This number is not being changed. Let's see here. Ah, uh, we don't even we don't <laughs> we didn't even connect. You guys are probably like connect them. Okay, we gotta connect the output, the input, to all the to to these two here. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then let's uh, let's build. Sometimes you just get so caught up in doing all the rest of the stuff you forget to make your basic connections. All right. So let's hit play. Let's watch it open up. It will open up. Do, 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 do. Bam, it stops, waits three seconds, then it goes to close. Do, 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 do. And it stops it there. And then waits three seconds, and then reopens. And do, 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 do. Yes, that's, that's it. So now we have this door opening and closing. Now, what you can do, because I'm pretty sure that you don't want a door that sits there and opens and closes all day long, I'm pretty sure that you want to separate that out to be uh, so that it's kind of uh, more event driven or triggered or whatever. Um, and to do that, you'll just remove this global update. You'll still use all this stuff. You may speed up how fast it opens and closes, but you'll still use all this stuff. It's just that rather than the global update, whatever is triggering it is going to go into this first compare and then it's all going to continue on out through that. So um, I'll do a quick one more run through just in case you got behind. We have a global update. We compare our first bool to see if the door is, con is moving right now. If so, we check to see if it's opening or closing. If it's opening, we control the door. We rotate it by th uh, 35, 0.35 and we rotate it on the tilt left. And then we go to uh, add that float to this float here. We'll just call this the mod because it's keeping track of where the door is currently at. If the mod is 90 or greater than or equal to 90, then we're going to set moving to false. And then we're going to toggle is opening because now it's going to be closing. Set the delay and in about three seconds that we did here, we're going to set the is moving back to true after three seconds. So that the next time the update comes through, it does the comparable, it says it's moving, says okay it's false, it's closing now, and it's going to go through the inverse of that. Um, and uh, end up in the same place. So that's how you do an opening and closing door. Uh, I hope this helped out. Uh, let me know what you think. Until next time, have a uh, have a good have a good time.